Welcome to my IT support videos. Today we're going to be looking at Microsoft Authenticator app and two-factor authentication setup. So to do this, it's usually best to start with an in-private browser. And to get there, you can either right-click your Edge icon and click New in Private Window. It's the same usually in Google Chrome. Or if you've already got the browser open, the best shortcut is Control Shift and the letter N. That will open a new browser tab in private. So uh, the best site to go to next is portal.office.com. And then you want to sign in with your work email address, followed by your usual work password. And then this is when it says, yep, more information required. So that means you have got to set up your two-factor authentication. And you just hit next. And it will take a second to load. Then it will go and tell you to go and get the Microsoft Authenticator app. It's usually the best one for getting notifications on your device. To do this, go to the Play Store or App Store on your mobile phone and go ahead and search for the Microsoft Authenticator app. Scroll down, it's the one with the blue icon, and I've already got it installed, so we'll just go ahead and open that. You may need to download it. You'll hit Next. Then, if you get a prompt on your phone to allow notifications, I would suggest doing that so that you can just accept a prompt and type in a, a number on your phone very quickly to log in. Hit Next on that one, and you want to add an account, then you need to press the plus button at the top, press on work or school account, and then press on scan a QR code. Then you'll scan the QR code that you've got on your computer screen. It's pretty quick to add the account, and it'll say account added successfully. Then you click on next. Here's the notification on the phone. You put in the numbers and hit yes, and it approves. And that's it for the authentication test. And then that's been approved. So the test worked there. That's how it will usually work. Now it says it's successfully registered. And at this stage, it may ask you for an app password name that tells you to go ahead and make one. Uh, for example, mine's just this here. And then it tells you to take note of the password on, on that next page. Um, you can do that. It's not essential for logging into the main uh, Office 365 system. If you have any issues, we can help as the IT admins um, on the system. So uh, that's all good there. And we can click done. And then you can say yes or no to staying signed in. And then you should hit the main uh, Office 365 site after that. So that's it for setting up two-factor authentication. And you'll occasionally get it when you're logging in, uh, perhaps in the morning at the start of your day. Um, or you may ask it to remember you on the device, and it will only ask you uh, a few times in a month, let's say. If you need any more information or uh, you want to give me any further suggestions for more videos, please feel free to leave a comment below, and then like and subscribe. Uh, you'll catch up on any of my hints, tips, and tricks on Windows support and IT issues that you may come across. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.